KCCI exclusive for you tonight. As we have learned, a formal complaint has now been filed against a well-known Methodist minister here in Des Moines for performing a same-sex marriage. The United Methodist Iowa Conference says it's an issue that's dividing the church. KCCI Cynthia Fodor has the details. For 27 years, Stacy and Kevin, if Methodist ministers or staff needed any advice, they went to the Reverend Dr. Larry Sonner, the founder of the Methodist Office of Pastoral Care and Counseling. Now he is charged with violating the sacred trust of the church. It's an equal rights issue. Why shouldn't every person have the same right that, uh, that I have? And uh, one of those rights is marriage. Reverend Dr. Larry Sonner says he knew he would face consequences when he married a lesbian couple last month outside of a church in West Des Moines in the Methodist Book of Discipline that is incompatible with Christian teachings. I think when you do any kind of civil disobedience, you are saying, and I will take the consequences. The Bishop of the Iowa Conference released a statement saying, The appoint of cabinet entered into a time of prayer and commitment to promote and engage in holy conversation around the ways in which our church is in distress and disagreement. It is causing a great deal of division in the United Methodist Church across um, our denomination also here in Iowa. We're definitely not of like mind on this issue. One Iowa which supports LGBT issues says the Methodist Church has a great history of human and civil rights. It really brings to the surface the need to have this conversation, to have the kind of discernment that will bring the Methodist Church to a place where eventually they understand that love is love and they open their doors to same gender couples. You were in support of that from the beginning? Oh yes, and, and that made me feel even more that we as a church have to move. I mean, how many are there? 33 states or something like that now are already there and we as a church or not. Reverend Sonner could be defrocked, lose part of his pension, his housing allowance, and his health care, something he is willing to give up to stand up for what he believes in. We're the only major denomination besides the Roman Catholic and the Baptist that are not doing this. And uh, we have to move ahead on this. Now, Reverend Sonner told me he will meet with the bishop December 1st, and both sides say they hope they can come to a resolution which will lead to healing and unity in the Methodist Church. Stacy, 